Hey, it's good to see you again. Today we're just gonna take use the beginning of this video to just go over really quickly capitalization and punctuation. Capitalization and punctuation. So, remember capitalization is when you use an uppercase letter. So there are multiple reasons why we use capitalization and places when we use them, okay? So, with capitalization, we always use it at the beginning of a sentence. So in this example, you always sit in your own seat. The Y is capitalized. Keep that in mind. Beginning of dialogue, we still also use capitalization. So the W is capitalized. Lonely I is always capitalized. Anytime, so my sister and I went to the park. The lonely I is always capitalized. You also always capitalize names. So Kyrie and Amari, days of the week are always capitalized. So in, ex in this example, we are off from school on Saturday. Months of the year are also capitalized. So, you know, I know you guys love your months of the year song. So always remember to capitalize your months of the year. And last but not least, holidays like Kwanzaa, always, always capitalize, okay? So take a moment to look at that really quickly. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. Now with punctuation, there are three reasons why we use punctuation. When telling a sentence, we use a period at the end of our sentence. So in this example, our class lines up at the main door. Period, we're ending a thought, okay? You then use a question mark when you are interrogating or asking a, a asking sentence, okay? So you use a question when you're asking a question. So are you afraid of crocodiles? Or, like, or why are you looking at me this way? Or what are those, right? Like literally, there's so many reasons why we use punk, uh, question marks at the end, but at the end it's when we're interrogating, which is another way of just asking questions, okay? And last but not least, there are exclamation points. You use exclamation points for emotion, to express emotion. So don't touch that. If you really don't want somebody to touch something, you put the exclamation point at the end in, as opposed to the period because this is emphasizing emotion. Emphasizing emotion, all right? So remember, as ace writers, accomplish extraordinary remember you're going to be accomplishing extraordinary and excellent writers so keep that in mind and feel free to remember those things and practice those things every time you write because remember you're not in we are leveling up every day and getting better with our writing now you're going to have the chance to use your capitalization and punctuation skills to help you write a group of sentences about your first day of school you're going to apply what you just reviewed, what we just went over, okay? You must use capitalization and punctuation in your writing so others can read, understand, and enjoy what you write. Give me a thumbs up to the screen if you're still with me. Two thumbs up. Hands on your head. Head and shoulder, head and shoulder, head and shoulder, head and shoulder, head and shoulder. Excellent. So today, like I said before, you're gonna be writing about your first day of school. You'll need to include correct punctuation, so periods where you need to, question marks where you need to, and exclamation points if you need to for each sentence. You need to include the month of the year that we are in and the names of some of the classmates in your writing, okay? As you write, focus on capitalization and punctuation. Take your time and don't rush. Take your time and don't rush, okay? Please, do not rush. Have fun with this, all right? Because I know this year may feel and look a little bit different, but you'll remember a lot of the things that you've done this entire year based on just your investment. So take your time, don't rush, to make sure that you use the, each of your rules correctly. My challenge to you, and I, you know Ms. Mayimbo loves a challenge. My challenge to you is so underline every place where you use capitalization in your writing, okay? Underline where you use, every, in every place where you use capitalization in your writing. 
Give me a thumbs up to the screen if you're ready. Excellent job. So just like before, you're going to talk about your first day of school by using your S-T-O-R-Y story maps. Create that really quickly. You made one yesterday in eight minutes. So my challenge to you today is to make one in, in ten, eight to 10 minutes yesterday. My challenge to you is to make a, your quick story map setting, talking character, oops, attempts to resolve in the yes solution. Just fill that out really quickly. Start with your oops. Uh, should take you seven minutes, seven to nine minutes today. I'm going to decrease it by one minute, okay? And then your intro, your body, and your conclusion should take you seven to nine minutes as well. And remember, we're writing about the first day of school, all right? So talk about your experience learning digitally, some of your classmates, um, what you were feeling, how you, like there's a lot of interesting, amazing ideas that you can add to your writing, and I can't wait to read what you come up with, all right? Take your time. Don't forget to apply the punctuation, the punctuation and capitalization rules. See you next time.